So I realize I am late to the party on making this video. My schedule has been absolutely out of control. And this will be my final video on the topic of the UF1, at least for a considerable amount of time. So I thought it was important to make this video for you guys. Obviously, SSL pushed out uh, the version 1.6 Point one two, I think that was the exact numbers. And with it came a bunch of feature enhancements for the UF1, for the UF8, and integration across Luna. So again, I just wanted to make this video and I don't even have any notes for this video. I'm kind of making this entirely off the cuff. So if it seems disconjointed, it, it probably will be. And I'm sorry, quick reminder to just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and leave a comment below. Let me know how you've been enjoying this new update. It's been out for a few weeks now. And to support the channel further, go to thestevekinney.com where you can find the latest UAD2 presets, mix templates for Luna, or to book one-on-one -on -one time with me directly to help with your productions. And lastly, I do have to mention and give a big shout out to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. This entire series on the UF1 wouldn't have been possible without their support. So thank you to Sweetwater. There's a link to the UF1 in the description if you are still considering that device. It's an amazing device, you're gonna love it. All right, so the first order of business that we have to talk about is the custom colors for the UF1, UF8. As you work through the SSL 360 app to give your custom key commands to the UF1, UF8, you do have the added ability to add a custom color to this. You probably already see it, but I have custom colors kind of mapped to the different areas on the device. Like if I'm on page one, I can totally change the color of whatever my parameters are as I build the parameters out. Love this, I think this is awesome. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it during the actual release of this video, but at some point I will email everyone who's picked up my templates for the UF1, UF8, and you'll get an updated template with my color coding scheme along with the commands. Additionally, I am also putting out a UF1 only edition of my preset. So if you only have UF1, you'll have access to my template as well. I had a lot of questions about plugin control as well. So um, I'm just gonna kind of like show you how that works real quick. And I know I'm kind of walking on the UF8 and walking through that. Everything I'm doing here also applies to the UF1 uh, as well. So it's more of an SSL 360 update than it is like a UF1 update itself, but nonetheless. Um, so first things first, I'll show you quick plugin control because someone asked about it. To pull up a plugin, um, you can press the plugin button and then it's going to light up and it's gonna ask you to choose uh, what control that you're trying to control, whether it's like tape control or one of the console emulations or a plugin insert. So we're gonna choose plugin insert here and then your list of plugins would go across the top. I only have one. Um, but you can see that immediately once I select it. Now, now we've got all of the parameters across the VPOTs. And so someone asked me how would I control these VPOT parameters on a fader, and it's just this flip button right here. So you press that, and now you can see that those parameters have now switched. If I wanna, if you're looking on my screen here, I can control the parameters of the plugin using my fader. And you're probably saying, well, where do you change parameters across the top. And it's actually right down here at the bottom. Um, so you can press this over and you can see as I do it right here, it says page two of six. Now we're on three of six, four of six, five of six. And there you go. Now the second order of business is really cool and I didn't see a lot of people talk about this, but they've essentially morphed the SSL 4KB plugin as like a pseudo way of giving track colors across the displays on the UF1 and UF8, as well as giving kind of like a literal console control to your DAW. It's, it's very weird, so I'd, I probably will just have to show you what I'm talking about. On my screen here, you can see that I've got Blue for these rhythm tracks, lead tracks are green. I've got this thing called Ebo, they're all purple. And apparently some other DAWs will just natively display that across the top. Well, as part of this update, there's a really cool feature, but it kind of requires that you have one of the SSL plugins, which is the 4KB or one of their channel strip plugins. At least that's the way that I read it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how that works. And I think what they're trying to do here is create a digital console using uh, the SSL platform. So, and there you go. We've got a ton of these plugins loaded up now. And in order to make this work in the SSL 360 app, I see I have another update up here, but in the SSL 360 app, you have to have each of your devices configured to have a plugin mixer 
on a layer and they mentioned layer three but i'm pretty sure it can work on layer two but when you go to the plugin mixer on layer three what you're going to find is once i do that you can now see that all of my channel track colors actually pop up here as well as the names so one of the other cool things about this is that it kind of fills out the names a bit better as well too so um, not only is it pulling over those uh, colors but it's pulling over the names a bit better as well um, the only thing i'll say is that it looks like the colors are on the tad limiting side because i've got like this green color here and it's kind of showing it as the same blue color and if i change them I've got to like really change the color in Luna in order for that to actually like follow through. So, um, but nonetheless, this is a really welcomed feature. And the interesting thing is that they've made it so that you can actually control the DAW faders. So Luna's faders through this system. So essentially the way I take it is that if you put SSL 4K across every channel in your session, you're gonna be able to mix inside of your DAW and still have your colors across the top, easier to read names, and a whole ton of other metering functions thanks to that channel strip plugin. So really, really cool. Um, you also have control of sends too. So on this Ebo track, I do actually have sends. It's in the send one uh, panel, right? So across Luna, I have one, two, three, and four. Obviously we only have one in one. So if I press this send plugin one, you can see now that the sends come up across the top. And if I flip the fader, I am now controlling the send level inside of Luna uh, via choosing a sends tab. I actually really like this feature a lot. This is great. I love being able to just have visual feedback on what I'm controlling. And all I gotta do to control the fader is just hit flip. And now I am controlling the fader of the DAW. And that's where you hit this plugin button. So now if I hit the plugin button and I pull up the plugins GUI, now I'm controlling the fader inside of, uh, inside of the plugin. The final thing that's really important to know also is that the select button follows the channel's colors, which is really nice. One final thing to note that I, I think is interesting is that you don't have access to your quick key functions when you are in this mode. You are controlling those SSL plugins. You're kind of, that's kind of their primary function first, because you can see as I go through the VPOTs uh, or the soft keys, nothing is happening across the board. You'll only have access to, if you go back on the, on the layer, um, uh, the layer mixer, right? So you got to go back to layer one and then you'll have those parameters again. But nonetheless, again, I, ke I keep going back to like, this is a super welcome change and I really like the ease of access that they've done here. Um, all right, so there you have it. Those are the two biggest takeaways that I've gotten from this update. Some really cool, almost hidden features. Again, they weren't really highlighted a whole lot or at least it didn't seem like they were highlighted a whole lot. But after taking the time to look at it, really cool of course you do have to have the 4kb plugin or some sort of channel strip plugin i think that's kind of where they're getting at with it but nonetheless i love that extra little enhancement to the layers function for a full list of what's included in this update or what was included in this update you can go to the ssl website that's about all i have for you guys again like subscribe comment really appreciate it we'll see you in the next video guys cheers